Hey guys, today I'm in Whitefish, Montana and I'm playing Whitefish Golf Club. Come play nine holes with me. Ooh, it was a little bit ripe, but we got a good kick out of the trees. All right, I have 185 yards. I definitely hit the tree and it came back. I'm gonna hit a seven. It flies out of here. Sit. Sit. Okay, short the bunker. We're good. Right, we missed the bunker, but we've left ourselves a bit of a trickier shot. Sit. All right, not bad. All right, we'll see if we can save par. I made that par a little bit more difficult for myself, but still save the up and down. Next hole. Oh, that definitely went right into the trees. Okay, we hit this a little right, but we're not in any trouble. We've got 120 to the flag. I'm going to hit 50 degree. Okay, a little left, but we're on the green. Go. All right, I'm giving myself tricky par pots. Gonna get them a little closer. Third hole, par three, slightly downhill, 160 yards, and I have an A iron. Be good. Get left. All right, that was a pretty good shot. We got a birdie opportunity. All right, let's see if we can make a birdie. Hmm, huh. turned a little more. Hit it a little too soft but I'll take a tap and par. There we go. Finally hit a fairway. I do love these tree-lined holes, even though I'm hitting them into the trees sometimes, but they're really good for practice. So I did hit a really good drive there, went 300 yards, got 80 left to the pin, gonna hit a nice 58 degree. Ooh, how chunky. Actually worked out great. 
All right, so even though I chunked it, it was pretty good shot because it rolled out a lot more than usual. Got another birdie opportunity here. Go! Oh, so close. But we shall take another tap and par. Okay, so I really do love to hit driver in every hole that isn't a par three. So it's really difficult for me to pull out a three win. But this is too much of a dog leg. And I tried to go over the trees the other day and I hit the trees. Woo. Well, if I carried the bunker, that's a great shot because I cut the corner. Okay, so guys, this is the hardest rated hole on the golf course, and you can see how much it dog legs. Now, it's difficult because if you hit a shorter club here, then you've got like 200 yards into the green. But then if you try to hit a longer club, you have to perfectly cut this corner. Luckily, I actually did. I hit over this bunker and it landed just in the rough over there but yeah risk reward tee shot it's definitely tricky but i hit a good tee shot here and i'm good to go okay i've got 120 into the green and i'm gonna hit a 50. bit uphill so playing about 128. pretty good Yep, and we're on the green. Okay, can I make a birdie on the toughest hole on the course? This putt actually breaks so much from right to left. It breaks about two feet. Oh my gosh, I didn't hit it. All right, still tapping, but that was not a great birdie putt. Okay. I just, they look like I can hit them. Yeah, we're good. So in my opinion, I think this is the hardest tee shot in the course. It's about 240 to carry the water, so not the biggest carry, but then you have water all left. And it's just a pretty intimidating tee shot, looks really narrow off the tee. Okay, so this is par five, but we have 180 to the flag. All right. Okay, that was a nice bounce. Straighten out a little bit. We're on the green. Just wanna show you guys this hole from here. The mountains in the background. One of my favorite things about this course, the beautiful views. Guys, we have an eagle putt here. Wrist reward tee shot. Could have hit shorter iron off the tee box, but I'm always gonna hit driver. It. All right, that was a good attempt. I shall take a tap in birdie. First one of the day. Draw. 
Ooh, sit down. Okay, we're pen high. This is a mentally tricky par three tee shot just because of all the water on the left, as you can see. I'm really happy where this tee shot ended up. You have to play to the middle of the green. So if you miss it a little right, you're on, you just have a longer putt or you're in the bunker. But if you pull it left, then you're where the flag is. We're good. Oh, that was back-to-back -back birdies. Sweet. <laughs> Guys, this tee shot is so tight. Like, all the water on the left, trees on the right. Where I'm about to hit my driver is probably the most narrow part of the fairway. But you know what? I said that I hit drivers on par fours. Usually. So, we're going to rip one straight down the middle. All right, you know, that wasn't the best strike, but Healy, we were on the fairway. We're good. Right, I've got 77 yards, but as you can see, those branches are pretty low, so I can't hit my usual high 58. I'm gonna hit 50 degree and flight it down. I have not practiced this shot in a very long time, so wish me luck. I know I hit a bird. Go. Okay. We're just at the very front, but honestly, that was pretty good considering I had no idea there. <laughs> Got a pretty long putt here. So we're just trying to get it close. Go. Did not hit that. I almost missed that. But we made a par. We're good. We are two under going into the ninth hole. I don't know if that tree's going to be in the way. Pretty good shot. We'll see. I thought this tree was going to be an issue, but no, we are right here. We have 62 yards, little 58. Try to get this one close. Go. Huh. Go. That's a little short, but still got a birdie putt. All right, we have another long putt here. I definitely need to work on my wedges. Need to hit it a lot closer. Oh. 
Whoa, that curved a lot. Not bad, but a little work left to do. All right, saved it. Whew. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the nine holes and I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.